Shalom baby. Welcome to another diary of a tantricorn and thank you for showing up for love, self-love. Check out my new online course and everything you need to know about cultivating more love in your life on sacredsexualawakening.com forward slash online. <laughs> What a lot of you don't know is, before this life, I was an introvert. I couldn't speak out in public, never spoke out in class, or even in the boardroom when I used to work in advertising. All because my mum said, Which means, why are you speaking like a goat? She said this when I was singing a Christmas carol, singing from my heart when I was eight years old. This doesn't sound like a big deal. But, ever since then, I've been quiet as a mouse when it comes to speaking out and speaking my truth. There's an epic long story about this when I uh, sang the call to prayer in Bangladesh. My mum came out and said, Wow, you rock the house! You have a beautiful voice! And that's in my last vlog about my sick dad, so check it out. Anyways, Mantra and Kirtan. These have been one of my biggest therapies since finding the Tantric community. Every time I hit a note, I would cry. Well, actually sob uncontrollably. I had no idea why I would cry. But after the tears, I was able to hit all of the notes and sing more than I've ever sang before. I soon realized this was a big fuck you to everyone that said, Shaft, you're too much. Or Shaft, you'll never be able to reach that. Or Shaft, you're dreaming too big. You get the picture. I realised I was letting go of all of the voices in my head from close friends and families who have said these words from a place of love, which means the limited belief system. I never used to believe the second half of this phrase. If you could walk, you could dance. If you can talk, you can sing. I'm a dancer, so I could obviously dance, that's totally fine, but this second bit just didn't resonate with me. I told myself I was tone deaf, and I suffered from a condition called Mondegreen, which means a misunderstood or misinterpreted word <laughs> or phrase resulting from mishearing of the lyrics of a song. I thought I was never meant to sing. In fact, I believed I couldn't sing. Um, it was a God's gift, like sports or being good at maths. And only a select few had that ability. Well, with the power of Tantra, it turns out you can achieve anything you put your energy towards. So last year, I set an intention to open up my voice. Subconsciously, I started to wear Shiva blue. Oh, hello, there he is. Uh, for a whole year, the throat chakra colour. And I just kept on randomly being drawn to Kirtan, or as I call it, spiritual karaoke. <laughs> I know I'm not a very good singer, but I fucking love it. It makes me feel so happy, like dancing, sex, tantric massage, snowboarding, all the things that makes you feel connected and alive. It's basically where your brain turns off, you drop into your body, and you go into the flow state. There's a whole science behind it. I have no dreams to be a singer. I only have dreams to be happy, but most of all healthy. 
But I do have visions, and these visions have showed me that I was on stage with Daniel Bedingfield singing. It was the craziest thing. And then one day, I met Daniel Bedingfield, and we sang together, <laughs> and it was the nicest thing. <laughs> I also had a vision that I was able to sing like a Bollywood singer whilst giving yoni massages. That's my actual dream now. <laughs> Celebrating my 38th birthday this year at my Mantra Tantra Mondays in London, none of the Kirtan singers turned up, which meant someone had to step up. So we had a special guest, me. <laughs> so I ended up singing and leading the Kirtan. So welcome to Mantra Tantra Mondays. Um, it's my 38th birthday, hey. and uh, yay! <laughs> and I've just learnt to sing. Yay. Ooh. Ooh. Yay. Ooh. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little sing song, uh, and it's gonna be a call and response. So, hey. Oh mani, oh hey mama, oh mani, oh hey mama, oh mani, oh hey mama. So on my 38th rotation around the sun, in this vast universe that we live in, and universe means uni, means one, and verse means song, I let go of all the limited beliefs and started shining again. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd be able to sing, let alone have others sing with me. It's never too late to become more of you and unlock your unlimited human potential. I recently found out that being a human is great and our bodies are an impressive bit of kit. The biggest journey is coming back home to ourselves. Oh, sacred mother, won't you lie with me? 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 Lie, 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 whoa, lie, 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 lie. Oh, sacred mother, won't you lie with me? Oh, sacred mother, won't you lie with me? Join the Sacred Sexual Awakening family by subscribing below for more tantric top tips and tantric hotspots around the world and for my personal shares. And don't forget to turn on the notifications. Like my video, leave a comment and say what type of video you want to see next. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Love you, but most of all, love yourself.